Okay, so it's uh, June seventh. It's in the morning. Um, air temperature is about fifty-two. Just check the water temperature. It is at fifty-seven ish. Uh, the flow is down to sixty-six cfs which is like late July levels and it is June 7th. <clears throat> we are hurting for rain like nobody's business. Um, if the air looks a little hazy and humid, it's not hazy and humid, it's smoky from all the Canadian fires. Um, <clears throat> smells like campfire outside. So there's a uh, You know, lots of, I see bugs flying around. Um, so I decided to fish in town today. I've been uh, laid up for the past couple of months. I wound up missing a lot of April and early May fishing because walking was a challenge. Um, and I haven't done much traveling because driving was even a bigger challenge. So... Um, but I'm going back to work Monday, so I figure I'm going to get out and uh, at some point I'll find a deep spot and soak my ass in this nice cold water because that actually feels good. Um, ice is just too cold for me. It cramps me, so cold water works, which is kind of convenient for a fly fisherman. So I'm going to fish in town today. Um, throughout the entire fishing season, I've been watching like if anybody's fishing in town and town used to be a very busy place I mean especially when it came to kids there was always kids running around with fishing poles and man, I haven't seen any of that this year um, in fact this year in Jersey um, opening day was actually on the Saturday at the beginning of Easter vacation and I watched diligently this year to see if there were kids out and uh, it's a strange world we live in, because when I was a kid, if opening day came at the beginning of Easter vacation, uh, we were all out. I mean, it was like, go get them. Um, but not these days. So, I'm going to fish in town today. Uh, which I haven't done in quite a while. And let's see what's... Uh, left laying in here. Um, it's a nice stretch of water up ahead of me, so um, try a little urban, a little bit of urbanite fishing. Do that this morning. All right. All right, so much to my surprise, I had one come right up and actually took the dry. Um, this is a nice fish. I mean, and I haven't... I haven't even left the... Uh, I haven't even left where I parked my truck. Come here. Oop. Get back here. There you go. Go on, back in. Nice, nice, thank you. So, that really kind of surprises me because in years past, this spot would have gotten hammered by so many worm dunkers and spoon throwers. So, okay, there be fish here. Okay, so I got, I'm into number two. So this is nice. I mean, uh, uh, come on.
Come on. Come here, you. Oh, I really prefer being in deeper water. That's 12. Oop, there you go. Adios. So yeah, it's definitely holding, holding true that there'd be fish here. That's kind of a that's kind of a pleasant surprise. So we'll see. We'll see how long that holds up. I mean, like I said, this is usually just dead empty. Dead empty by now. First week of June. Psh, these things are... Well, technically second week of June. These holes are long empty. So, cool. There's another one. Man. I've never actually caught this many fish standing right here before. Not bad. Wow, look at the colors on this one. Look at this. I'm not used to seeing this. Wow. I mean, look at that. Where are we at here? It's only 11, but that's gorgeous. Almost a little kipey on this one. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Stop, 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 stop. Come here. Get you in the water. Give me your look. There you go. All right. Wow. That was pretty. squat and get my ass wet on that one. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. So, yeah, I'm like, that's three, standing right here. I, I could have hoped for that, but I wouldn't have actually expected to have that materialize. Oop, there's another one. Son of a gun. So, look, he's pissed. So here I am fishing right in town. Come on. Come on over here. I already got my ass wet. So you might as well just come on over. Ah. So, <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, this one's a little beefier, come here, okay, and you're off, good, thank you, and he was off, I'd say he was probably another 12, it was nice, I like that. <laughs> what are the odds? I just keep throwing it up there. See how many are laying in there. Hi, hi, hi. Yep. Sometimes, and I think that's what I'm going to be doing maybe this afternoon. Is I want to go hit another unlikely spot because to me this is just like an unlikely I normally there's another one I normally wouldn't bother fishing here because of what was always so much fishing traffic but the times folks they are a changing so it's good to be adaptable come on I mean, I feel like I'm shooting fish in a barrel. 
Come on. Whoop, come here. Lots of energy this morning in this nice cool water. Come on. Come on. A little beef. Nice 12. I hate when that happens. If that happened to other people. You just get, just about get the fly in your fingers, and the trout decides to go all freaking bonzo on you. Come on, just stop. Just settle down. Let me, just settle down and let me unhook you. There you go. Off you go. Thank you very much, Mr. Trout. Okay. We'll just put it back out there again. See what happens. <laughs> How many could there be? Well. Is that four? Something like that? Yeah, that was four, not five. That was four. Throw that out there. La 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 la. La 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 la. Let's move up a little bit. I haven't even gotten to the far side yet. There's got to be one sitting right there. Yep, there he is. That's a little nipper. Speedy little puppy. Yeah, he's a little nipper. You're tiny. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> did they did they not feed you? You're like sardine size. Come here. Oh, you Stop. Oh, you're being a jerk. You're being a There you go. You're a little guy. <sighs> Alright, so I'm I'm still only about fifty feet from my truck. This is number ten that I have on now. He feels like a slightly better fish. But he's going deep and strong. I'm just driving, driving foul hooked. Uh, they, oh, and he's off. I got him. He was foul hooked. Okay. Well, that's how that goes. I'm sure, my fly is good and soaking wet right now. That was a surprisingly dark fish. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to tell you, as much as I used to always avoid. These, these areas that were close to people and population and... Oh, I just missed one right there. Um, it's time to revisit some of these... some of these uh, more urban streams. Did I lose my... I lost my trailer. Did I lose my trailer? Bet I did. 
Nope, it's still on there. Ah, I thought that last one tore him off. But yeah, this is uh, this is turning into a nice surprise this morning. Very loose bouldery right here. This is a great place to wind up on your ass. That wasn't it. That's where I want to be. All right, I got all that ahead of me yet. So that's 10 out of the first run before I even got away from my truck. Who knew? Who'd have guessed? I wouldn't have. So, like I said, the times they are changing. Whoop, there he goes. <laughs> this guy just wants to fly. He's another one of those flyers. So I just landed two more and I'm still I'm haven't I haven't moved to where I'm standing. I'm just picking them up one right after another. These are nicer fish up here. A little bigger. A little bit bigger up here. Come on. Okay. Okay. Man, they are. You know, some days the fish just come to your hand and stay there. Other days, nope. This one, a tad over 12. Man. Just stop it. You know, a little over 12. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice. Whoop! Oh, that was a fish, and I totally blew it. <coughs> All right, so I just, uh, Got myself out of the tree, tied on a new fly. <clears throat> now this this hole is very very deep. Like I'm this close to shore, and I'm just about to my zipper line, and that is all very deep. And this is a nice flow for 60 cfs. Um, I'll tie, tie it on something a little longer here. See if it gets down a little deeper. And I think I really have to work on speeding up my retrieve because the water is moving just a little faster than I think it is. But I also tied on a bigger fly, so I'm hoping that doesn't deter. eaten. Well, you know, I can always go back down to a 16, but I am just amazed that there's still fish in here. 
amazed. Oops, that was a fish. Just amazed that there's still fish in here, and so many, and so many to boot. There's one. Oh, there he goes. Yep, just a little shocked. I mean, just shocked. Come on. No, yeah, nothing big, but still in here. Come on, let's find your big brother. Just shocked. Totally shocked and amazed. Shocked and amazed. Okay, so... Obviously still fishing in town. I just got one on here. I was in a pool back there and then some nice old man just came right in and plopped all of this stuff right into the uh, middle of the pool I was fishing. Ooh, this looks like a nicer fish. Oh yeah. One of the days so far. Oh yeah. Come here. Yep, thirteen. Come on. Don't there you go, and he's off. Shit. Okay, I wanted to show you that one, so still with the pheasant tail. So while I'm at it, Joe Rokuri fly fishing. Um, Joe ties a killer pheasant tail, I gotta say. He really, really does. Let's see if I can pick another one out of there. That was a nice solid take. But I'm just really kind of amazed. I mean, I didn't bother staying to fish that pool. And I didn't feel like talking to that guy. If he's just going to be an ass about plopping right into the middle of where somebody else is fishing, then he can do that. Maybe if I get a little older, I'll just become a real ass, too. I don't know. But, definitely not where I expected to find a nice fish like that. Let's see if maybe there's more. I tell you, it is a cold, windy, smoky day today. Right there. There we go. Okay. There's 
Let these fish here. Man, they are really uncooperative today. There you go. Well, you know, still there. Fish, we got fishies. Oh. So I'm just going to fish this a few more times and then I'll move up. Alright, so I'm still in town and getting ready to call it a morning. I get this one on. Ugh. But you know, they've all been around the same size today. So hey, when you see a spot in town, whoop, and he's off, thank you. When you see a spot in town that looks fishy, go hit it, because it may not have gotten hit the way you think it normally should. Um, might be well worth your while, you know. So have a great line. Or have a great. Uh, have a great. Jeez, uh, <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> have a great day. Tight lines, everyone. And uh, rivers are full of fish. Go enjoy yourself.